it is best to take a look at persuasion along a continuum, that there are multiple different perspectives along any persuasive issue. I think one of the biggest problems that we have in today's society is that oftentimes we pigeonhole people as soon as they take one stance towards one particular issue or another. For example, you may say, I support the Second Amendment, and the next thing you know, everybody says, oh, you're a Trump supporter, you're a Republican, you're instantly put into a right-wing camp. However, we've seen plenty of Democrats that have supported Second Right Amendments as well. I've, you folks have heard recently Bernie Sanders had to change his perspective because back in the day, he was very pro-guns in his home state of Vermont. The same is true the opposite way. So a lot of times if somebody says, let's say we're pro the environment, suddenly you're pitched into a completely left-wing perspective that everybody suddenly says, oh, you know, you're a bleeding heart liberal or you're completely democratic. When in fact, actually, when it comes down to the conservation, national parks, all these things were started by Republicans going all the way back to the days of Teddy Roosevelt. Now, when we take a look at persuasion, we should take a look at each individual issue and we should view it along a continuum. This goes back to a lot of research that was done back in the 1960s. And it all sort of collectively came under what we would refer to as social judgment theory. And so this was proposed by Sharif, Sharif, and Hovland. Now they say that on any particular persuasive issue, we have an anchor point. This is where you feel the most comfortable. This is where you feel at home, if you will. That where your particular viewpoints are completely okay and that you feel that the, everybody else should kind of feel this way too. Around that anchor point, you have what we call latitudes of acceptance. So these are scenarios or particular issues or examples that you've seen to say, hey, well, it falls close enough to me that I'm okay with allowing that to happen or I'm allowed with being persuaded by that particular issue. Slightly moving out from here, and this is where real persuasion occurs, is what we call latitudes of non-commitment. These are areas that are far enough away from your anchor point that you start to think, well, I'm not entirely sure if I completely support that idea. I'm not really completely sure if I'm against that idea, but I would need to weigh it out. I would need to look at all the different circumstances and all the different issues before I made an informed decision about whether or not I would accept that aspect of persuasion. Finally, of course, we have what we refer to as latitudes of rejection. These are areas that are so far away from your anchor point that you would just completely reject them. That there's just no way. You would never accept these particular viewpoints that are out there unless something crazy happened that changed the entire playing field when it came to that particular persuasive issue.